Hello everyone, this is your very bad Uncle Bob back to another video, and tonight we're going to be looking at the Transformers Cyberverse Slag, Slug, Snarl, whatever they want to name him, this guy. But before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you thought of the video, or what you'd like to see next in a video. So on to the figure. Here we have, I'm calling him Slag because I'm old school like that. Mm. Here we have him in his Triceratops mode, and not a definitely not a bad looking one. Definitely better than Grimlock, who we previously looked at. But to get a close-up on all the detail, focus, thank you. Get the nice Autobot symbol with the horns. Get the mouth. The frill is nicely detailed. Definitely better painted, definitely better feeling than Grimlock. So... Very nice detail all throughout as well. Alright, for a real quick size comparison, here we have uh, Grimlock, who, we men who I mentioned before. Now, these are the only two Cyberverse figures I have, because the other Dinobots were kind of um, crappy. They weren't aimed for me, and that's, and that's perfectly fine. I wish that they gave us the Dinobots in like this type of styling, but, you know, whatever. And here we have Sideswipe. Do you do Sideswipe? Oh, not too shabby. Now, for articulation, the head can look up and down a little bit. The mouth can open and close. They just don't give you a place to really get in there. But trust me when I say the mouth opens and close. And also, the horns can move in and out if you need them to, for some reason. Now, since these are the robot mode arms, they, can, they have elbow bends. They have bicep rotation. Shoulders can do a full 360. They can move in and out. The hind legs can have a knee bend a little bit. And only move about this far. So, And there's no articulation in the tail. Other than like the tip is a little bit of up and down. So not too bad. Now for accessories, he comes with a shotgun. Comes with a nice little axe. And a blast effect. So, what can you do with all these? Well, you can store them. You can do a couple things with the axe. You can plug it out on top and have, you know, kind of that look. Or, what I prefer to do is you take the uh, blade part and just slot it in. And gives you, a, I guess, a scope of some sort. And then the blast effect, you know, just two holes, two pegs. So... There you go. Definitely much better. I wish that they gave Grimlock a little bit more than the stupid Cheeto and Crown. But, yeah. And there's a hole right back here that you can plug all this onto. And now he's a very armed T- uh, not T-Rex, Triceratops. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Now, for transformation, which you want to start off by doing is flipping up the hind legs and just rotating them. No, just kind of leave them a little bit. Maybe rotate them a little bit out of the way. It should, there we go, click into place. Take the arms, just kind of straighten them out. Raise up the camera so I have a little bit of room to operate. Take the back area and just untab it. Split it all the way down to the tail. Yeah, let's do the side because the side is a little bit more of a pain because you got the tip of the tail. Kind of rotate it out about 45 degrees. Get this out so we, you can flip in the tip. Well, don't flip in the tip yet, sorry. Flip in this section about halfway. Then rotate this out all the way. Take the foot, flip it down, and then rotate it 180. And then you can go ahead and flip in the tip and rotate that all down, which is very nice. And then just kind of do whatever you want with this. Just get it out of the way. Should be able to rotate more than that, but me. All right, do the same thing for this. You can just go ahead and since this is out of the way, you can actually rotate that in more. So you can flip in the foot or leg, rotate, rotate, flip, and there you have the lower part all done. All right, now for the upper half. So go ahead and kind of untab this section, rotate it 180. Then you want to take this, lift it up, rotate that around 180, get the arms, get these on double hinges out of the way. 
Oop, this way. Rotate the waist 180, and then this will just slot back down. Then you can flip up the arms the rest. Rotate 180. Oop. You want to make sure it's actually oriented properly. So get this all the way up. Rotate 90, not 180. Flip out the hand, and we're almost done. Got to get this section, which I find best. Get the stupid axe. Just kind of get under here. There we go. Nope. Come on. You want to rotate that all the way in. Go ahead and just rotate this up. Get that all the way in. That tabs into place. This will... No. Sorry. You're supposed to actually have to have this piece flip up. Rotate this around. And this should double hinge back. And... Come on. You know you want to. Okay. Give me just one second to fix this. Okay. You actually want to have the frill rotated around. My bad, folks. It just was not coming untabbed. That is a very secure connection. But anyways, here we have him in his robot mode. And not a bad looking robot. Very clean, which is nice. But a close-up on that head sculpt. Focus. He looks very, um... He kind of looks mad. Yeah. But you get a nice uh, all spark blue for the eyes. Get the face picked out in silver, which is nice. So not too shabby. Now for articulation, the head, assuming you can actually get in there, can is on a ball joint, so it does have a little bit side to side. Can do a full 360. You can't look up or down. For the arms, you can do a full 360 outward that far. Uh, he gets bicep rotation, 90 degrees of elbow bend, and the wrist can move in and out. He gets waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back, and about that far. Outward, can, no, I'll give him the full splits. Come on. He gets a thigh rotation, over 90 degrees on knee bend, and ankle tilt. But you can only get about that far before uh, this piece gets in the way. So, not too bad. Now he can hold the uh, shotgun just fine. And the axe. Come on. There we go. So, there you go. Or if you wanted to, what I personally do is I just go ahead and tap that in. And give him a uh, shotgun axe with a... Or, yeah, shotgun axe. Sure. <laughs> All right, for a real quick size comparison, here we have G2 Sideswipe. So, you know, I mean, for, I guess, a, a deluxe, he isn't too bad, so. And for his partner in crime, well, not crime, injustice, how about that? Well, that makes it sound like he's not doing justice. Whatever, you know what I mean. Here we have Grimlock. Come on, look up Grimlock. So, you can definitely see the uh, evolution in their thought process. You know, like this one's nice, bright, and colorful. This one's kind of muted. And I, I didn't talk about this in Grimlock's video, but kind of the paint doesn't... It feels very thick, and it just doesn't feel right. Where this one feels like a mainline figure. So, honestly, looks pretty good, decent with them. So, for a final thought wise, this figure is really good. I'm so glad I picked him up. I think actually he was a present. I can't remember at this point. But regardless, I'm so glad I have him in my collection. He is a very solid chunk of plastic. Pretty, like, these two honestly feel about the same weight. And that's kind of rare to find in a figure meant more for kids. At least, like, Cyberverse, unlike, you know, like... Siege and you know all them So but that's about it. So don't forget to like subscribe and all their fun stuff And I'll see y'all next time for another video review